the rugged all the way. Andy Ruiz, you said you wanted to come in here and make the non-believers believers. Do you feel you've done that here tonight against a, an incredible performance against Chris Ariel? You know, Chris Ariel, he's a veteran. He's a hard puncher. And, you know, we did what we had to do. We won the victory. But remember, I was low to the lowest, and I have to come back to the ladders. Yep, keep booing, bro. It's all good. But like I said, we did what we got to do, and thanks to God that we got this victory, and now to the next. It was an incredible battle. It started a, a little adverse for you in terms of the knockdown. Did he have you hurt in those early rounds? Yeah, he, he got me with a good, clean right hand. I dropped my hand a little bit. I was too um, overconfident, but, you know, tops off to Chris Adriola. He got me with a good one, but I kept going, and I kept going. And you know what? We, we got the victory. It's not as though you haven't been there before and come back. So how much did that experience that you've had in that Joshua fight help you to persevere in this fight? Helped a lot, you know, but I felt a little rust. And I know other fighters because I could relate to that. But, you know, we did what we had to do and we got the victory. But if he wants to run it back, we can run it back. We can have Chris Arrola and the Ruiz, too. In terms of the, the championship rounds, it seemed as though in the eighth round you kind of found your rhythm. Uh, what adjustments did you make in that in those middle in the middle ground of this fight? Just was trying to counter punch and work the body. You know, we, we slowed him down a little bit, but I felt a little rusty. But you know, on to the next. You said you'd like to run this back. Is that what you want next? If, if the promoter wants that and if the fans wants that, we can run it again right here. Congratulations on a great win. I want to talk to Chris Ariola really quick because would you like to run this one back? I know you two have a lot of re mutual respect for one another. Absolutely, man. You know what? I respect the judges, but today I always said that beauty's in the eye of the beholder. They like a butter face. Everything's pretty but their face. Honestly, man, did he win? Fine. But don't tell me you're only going to give me two, three rounds. Fuck that. I'm going to be like Dr. Dre. All y'all can suck my motherfucking dick. I have to ask you about your shoulder. I just saw Jack Reese come to you. We saw it clinch a, a couple of different rounds. What's the story with the shoulder? Was it bothering you? Nah, you know what? I got hit a couple times. One time in the shoulder, you kind of threw it off. But it ain't no big deal. It's part of boxing, man. In all honesty, we can run this back. Let's do it again, man. Because look at me. Look at my face. I'm still good. I'm still ugly, but shit, I'm still good. Very good. That might just be what we see next from these two. Brian, we'll send it back to you. All right, Heidi, thank you very much. Basically, the judge is there. He didn't even win three rounds. On one judge's card, he won two rounds. And on another judge's card, on the two, he actually won just one round, which obviously Lennox, they, he won that round because he knocked the guy down and knocked Ruiz down, and so he takes a 10-8 round. I know what he's saying, but... Yeah, I understand that. I mean, I, I felt he won a lot more rounds than that, but, uh, uh, you know...